Okay. Hi guys, I am here with your Bible reading. We are going to begin with Matthew chapter 6 verse 1 through verse 24 today. Beginning where we left off yesterday. First, we are going to talk about giving to the needy. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others, to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Now we're talking about prayer. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. This is what I keep trying to explain to you guys all throughout, every time, all throughout the years. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Which of course is the devil. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Now we're going to talk about fasting. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And lastly, for Matthew today, we're going to talk about treasures in heaven. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Think about that statement for a while, and you'll see how very true it is. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. And that's where we're going to stop with Matthew today. 
a lot of people that have more money than they know what to do with. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, they think since they can buy everything on here on Earth, you know, they're so great on here on Earth and everybody loves them. They have nothing to worry about. And a lot of them don't even believe in God. They're just like, you know, I don't need God. For me, there doesn't need to be a God. And I'm taking that word from one of the stars right out of their own mouths that said, to me, there doesn't need to be a God. I'm not going to say who it was, but yeah. And they have a lot of money. And um, their husband also had a guy fired for giving him um, one of those dollar bills on it that talked about Jesus because they don't believe in God and that guy was just trying to be nice and spread the word of Christ and this actor had him fired because of it. Yeah, very famous actors here. Really sad. They think their money and their wealth and popularity here on earth since they're some of the most popular people in the world is, you know, but they don't understand or don't care. They just don't realize God is real. And what they do on this earth with their money and not caring about God is only putting more coal on their heads. Yes, they may give to charities, but they do it in their own name. They don't do it in the name of God. They don't do it for God, for God's people. They do it to make themselves look better. And they do it, you know, maybe because they want to, but it's still not giving the glory to God. Because to them, there doesn't need to be a God, they said. So when they get to heaven, what's Jesus going to say to them? I do not know you. And then they will be gone into hell. All right, guys, our song for today is Psalm 7. A Sheagan of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush, a Benjaminite. Lord, my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me or they will tear me apart like a lion and rip me into pieces with one to rescue me. With no one to rescue me. Lord, my God, if I have done this and there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid my ally with evil or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. Arise, Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God, to screed justice. Let the assembled peoples gather around you while you sit enthroned over them on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O Most High. Bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. You, the righteous God, who probes minds and hearts. My shield is God Most High, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend the string, his bow, he has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. Whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble and gives birth to disillusionment. Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recoils on them. Their violence comes down to their own heads. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. 
and that, my friends, Psalm 7. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 2. We'll be reading verses 1 through verse 5. Moral Benefits of Wisdom My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding. And if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Okay, guys, well, that was our Bible reading for today. It will take me a little while to get it uploaded because I'm having to do it with the camera now, of course, so it usually takes over an hour. So um, I hope you guys have a great um, Friday. I think it's supposed to rain. Um, here in Ohio, anyways, where I live. Um, let's bring those souls to Jesus. And be careful, because tomorrow morning it's supposed to be icy rain. It's going to be slick. But it's going to get up in the 50s later. But it's going to be icy, so drive slow. Be careful if you got to go out. Because, you know, there's going to be a lot of wrecks. Because people will go fast, not even knowing the ice is there. or You know how it is. Just be careful. Stay safe. I love you guys. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.